Greetings and welcome everyone. This is part three of my playthrough of Dishonored 2. I am Steve from Blockboy Games and it is, as always, it is a privilege and a pleasure to have you here. Now, as you remember from yesterday's video, which I ended very abruptly, because, you know, I died and I was going to scrap the whole video, but then I watched it and I thought, yeah, that's actually kind of cool. Got some cool comments, some cool things going on. So I kept it. I just stuck an ending on it and there we go. But here we are up to, up to part three. And this time, we're not going to die. We're not going to die. That's what's going to happen. So, we're going to continue towards the docks. And we're totally not going to get murdered by this guy. Is there anyone else around? Whoop. Hello? Wow. No. No hellos for you. I oh, don't come over here. Uh, excuse me. Actually, do come over here. Oh yeah, sorry, gone silent. I should be making excited monkey-like comments when I'm murdering people. Because that's how we roll. That's how we roll. Okay, creeping forward, looking in rubbish bins, because that's what an Empress of the Realm does. That's what an Empress of the Realm does. Looks in rubbish bins for scraps of coins and food. Classy, babe. Classy. Alright, let's see what else have we got around here. Um, I'm just going to duck down over here. Because, you know, crawling around in rubbish. Hashtag Empress things. Yeah, you know it. You know it. People of Dunwall. Hating a fugitive is now punishable by death. Aid the city watch in this time of transition. <coughs> Whoa, I like how I just dragged him across the uh, across the box. Down you go. Now where am I gonna dump this body? Somewhere where it won't be found. On this mattress. Don't say I don't ever do anything for you. Okay. Beautiful visuals. Beautiful visuals. Let's see what's up here. Whoa, that was either a very loud seagull or a civilian who was found to be harboring, you know, me. Um, now, I'm going to try and not get too explory just because... You know, when I start getting explory, things go very slowly. Very slowly indeed. So, uh, nothing super interesting around here. Whoa! Oh man, we need to be a bit more careful in that. From now on, my name is Stealthy McStealthlington. Uh oh. Uh oh. This one. Oi. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh man. I have to focus on combat so I don't make a lot of comments. I'd like to be some swashbuckling daring do dude who just cuts someone's head off and then just says something really cool like, I see you're getting ahead. <laughs> oh, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger-esque puns. Oh man, Stealthy McStealth is let- Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I want to say things when I'm, you know, murdering people. But I want to say things. I want to be like, Haha! You have now met your end. You have now met your end. And then say something really clever like, And by that I mean you're about to meet your own butt. Your butt, this is your face. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go in this door over here. And look around. You didn't hear those gunshots, did you? Is that an asthma pipe? Oh no, it's a, it's a tobacco pipe. 
Somebody's seen something. Now we're all on edge. My heart can't take much more of this. Splendid idea. Um. Mm, oh yes, full health. Your heart can't take much more of this. The guards earlier. This is bad. Oh man, I want to pickpocket you. I will pickpocket that. Okay, let's see what's around. Um. Worst dartboard ever. Worst dartboard ever. Pay my taxes and all the fees. I'd pay bribes too if it meant the roads weren't blocked off. You'd pay bribes, huh? Careful you. with that sword. The Grand Guard won't like it. Uh, somehow, somehow I don't think the Grand Guard are going to have a problem with it. Now, very quickly, we're going to head back up this way because there was a couple of side corridors that I really want to go look at. Really want to go look at. Oh man, this, this motion blur on the mouse, it's not a deal breaker. But it's a semi-deal breaker, because it makes it very difficult to, you know, really get fluid control over your mouse. Whoa! What the heck? What. The. Heck. Let's see what's in here. It looks interesting in here. Oh, I just shut myself out. Hmm. Okay. What's that? Oh, pistol bullets! Yeah, I'll have those. Because I don't have a lot of those left. Don't. Now. This is cool! An entire house built for nothing more than having a staircase in it. This staircase is bigger than most people on Earth, their entire house. Wow. That's luxurious. You know, if I had a house like this, I could do my thousand steps just getting up the first couple of stories. Now, don't turn around. Don't turn around. Alright, you can turn around now. You can turn around. Oh, wait, you can't turn around! Because you're also unconscious. And dead. Oh, man, I keep hitting the wrong button. I should be saving my pistol bullets. Saving my pistol bullets for when, you know, I actually need to, you know, use a pistol. There we go. Um, typewriter. Do I want to use that? I just typed the letter. Get it? It's funny, because a letter is both a single letter, as well as a collection of letters making up, you know, a letter. Note from the chief editor. I should look around. See if there's anyone else here. Note from the chief editor. Let's have a look. Kent, don't take it personally, but I'm not publishing your story about mechanical soldiers down in Karnaka. I'm not questioning your sources or your writing, but some moonstruck natural philosopher making marionettes in his basement isn't really news. Well, I've seen these mechanical marionettes, and I can tell you they're pretty real. I've done some research on this Kiran Jindosh you mentioned. He was driven out of the Academy of Natural Philosophy years ago, so he's hardly a credible threat. Until one of his inventions actually kills someone, he's not worthy of our ink. You should focus on the Crown Killer case instead. Oh, I see what you did there, game. Because this guy is going to be involved in the Crown Killer. This Kirin Jindosh. Karen Jindosh. It sounds like Indian food. Mmm, I could go some Indian food right now, actually. I could go some Indian food right now. Mmm, a good Rogan Josh. Okay, dead journalist. Is there anything in here? Are there any drawers to open? No, there's only a dead journalist. Only a dead journalist. Alrighty. And speaking of dead journalists, let's see what's out. Whoa. Oh, there's only one dude. Whoa. There we go. Dude, you had one job, and Not you. Fit for the watch uniform. Yeah. You had one job, bro. And when it came to doing that one job, you choked. I mean, you were choked, but also you choked. You choked. While you were being choked. It's chokeception around here. It's chokeception. Sorry. Whoa. Back up the stairs we go, building those calf muscles. Oh, silly me. I looked at that door, and from down the stairs, it kind of looked like it was a door going into the wall there. Man. I don't want the job of wallpapering a house like this. Wow. One, because it'd be a really difficult job, and two, you'd get high off the glue that you used to glue, you know. Did I go in here? I don't think I went in here. I just walked right past this door. 
in what can only be described as an unsurprising turn of events. There'd better be something good in here. Fruit. Alright, fine. Um, there's really nothing here at all, is there? Oh, 50 coins! Okay, that was worth turning up for. That was worth getting out of bed for. Well, I'll know now to keep my eyes out for fat carved whales. They're worth money. They're worth money in Dunwall. And seeing as I walk past this locker right here, ah, oh yeah, yeah, you know it. Captain Observation. That's going to be my name. Emily uh, McObserv... Whoop! Whoa. Whoa. Who said that? Was that you? Please tell me that was you. I ought to shoot you for, you know... Like... Where is that even coming from? Oh, okay. I was up there before. I was up there before. Um, alright. Moving right along now. We'd, you know, we've spent enough time stuffing around in side corridors. Says me as I head down another side corridor. Shh. We shouldn't be talking about this. No, you shouldn't. Later, then. Wow. Can I borrow those sunnies, dude? I need to go undercover because apparently everyone in the entire world is trying to murder me. And they're cool looking sunnies. John Lennon sunglasses. John Lennon sunglasses. I'm going up here without your John Lennon sunglasses. Okay, there's only one of you. Yep, only one of you. Chokety choking so McChoklingtons. Whoa, did someone hear something? I'll help you look around. No, don't do that. Don't do that. I'll help you look around. Now, there's a door over there. Anything in here? Oh, I should have hidden that body. I'm gonna hide that body. What? You didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Huh? You're almost as alert as I am, bro. Oh, that's pretty gruesome. Do you know how much force you need to swing a sword with to cut someone's arm clean off? Pretty sure of it. No, you're not pretty sure. You're not even pretty, and you're certainly not sure. There's stuff going on. I wonder what I'm dealing with. I don't know. No internal monologue is one of the things you are dealing with. Whoa! Ah! Ah! Do you mind? Is... Can't pick a bottle up off the floor. Okay, come on. Take a swing. Oh, yeah. That would have... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You weren't swinging that sword with enough force to blow apart in my hair. Alrighty, now. But seeing as you hurt me, watch how quickly I can devour fruit. Ready? <laughs> if eating fruit was an Olympic sport, I could eat fruit for my country. Eat fruit for my country. All right, let's let's just make a pretense of. Is that a painting? I don't know what's going on here. Um, oh coins. Yeah, wait, no, don't close. Oh man, let's open you at the same time, so we can, you know, uh. Oh, nothing in that bottom cash register. Um, bone charms. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll work it out. We're not going to get bone charms in this episode anyway, so I'll go and learn about bone charms in my own time. Oh, yes. Okay, that was a disappointment. Double disappointment. You might say stereo disappointment. I am disappointed. What's in here? All right, that was where we just were. 
Um, anything else around here? I'm going to try and sort of be semi thorough ish and also be semi keep things moving. Oh man. Whoops. Really need to stop doing that. Really need to stop doing that. Have I been in here? No, I haven't been in here. Yeah, actually, sorry, I was just in here. Or was I? Man, there's a lot of safes in here. Wow, okay. Oh, yeah. All right, there had to be something in one of them. Well, don't close that. Oh, all right, fine. We'll come back for those other two coins. Oh, Tyrian Ore. I don't know what Tyrian Ore is. It is it some kind of logic? Is there a Tyrian and? Or is it just Tyrian Ore? Alright, enough stupid... I've completely disoriented myself here. Alright, now. Bear with me while I run up here and make observations about how those rails would not have the tensile strength to support a fully loaded train going across them. Just an observation. And speak of the devil, there goes a fully loaded train right now that would collapse, killing innocent civilians who are of course already dead. I did leave some bullets there. I'm going to take all the bullets I can get. One, because I discharge my gun accidentally on a regular basis. And two, because I need to shoot people. Hashtag murder the police. Yeah, that's what this is about. That's what this is about. But I mean, you know, you have a right. You have the right to bear arms and do all that sort of thing. You have the right to arm bears. Now, I've done all this section. All I need to do now is get out to the water. Get out to the water. A day at the seaside. A day at the seaside. Now, I've learned one thing about this game in the short time I've been playing it. Confidence will carry you a long way. A long way. So if there's two guys, just walk up and kill one of them straight out. And then you can deal with a second one, one-on-one. -on -one. Mano e mano. Like this. Like that. And then, if there was another dude there, you'd only have to fight one-on-one. -on -one, not two-on-one. Not three-on-one. Whoa, he's gonna spot me. Alright, fine. Fine. I'll tear you to pieces. You are a hack. Oh, I blocked the punch with a sword. <laughs> punch me in the face. <laughs> oh, punch me in the face. You won't do that twice. <laughs> Alright. There's two dudes over there. What I could do is walk up, murder one, and then look awkwardly at the other one for just a moment before I murder him as well. Alright, time to be quiet. Yeah. Sliding thing. Oh, he heard something. Ah! Oh man, I've got to stop hitting the wrong key. Yeah! <laughs> I don't even need to waste my bullets like that. Wow, he looks very... I don't know, classic British Indian. Servants of the Raj and all that. Servants of the Raj. You know who the Raj is. You know, old Rajipoo. I need some health, speaking of Rajas. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna use a health thing. Let's see what's over here. Is that some sort of like speaker system? Hello, I'd like to order a large pizza, please. Um, hello. Yes, I would like the upsize. Now let's see. Are they bad guys? Ah, uh, the Hatter Gang. Also ready to profit from times of turmoil. Alright, so they look like bad guys. Shops selling contraband just like they've got down in Sarconis. People are getting rich in Galero and Karnak. Alright, one down. Oh! Lucky, a visitor to Hatter territory. Oh! Little shit! Whoa! Don't take chances, because we ain't dying in this episode. We ain't dying in this episode. Loot. Cool! Ten coins. I'm also getting a bit low on bullets here. But let's just see what's around in here. Let's see what's around. Oh, more health. 
more health. Okay. Well, I'm going to say my combat skills have improved somewhat since, you know, the first episode. They have improved. And well, they should have, because, you know, it's like saying I've improved in my social skills because I don't crap my pants at dinner parties anymore. You know, like my combat skills were pretty low. Can I sharpen my sword? That was my sound effect for sharpening my sword. Can I go through the door? No, I can't. All right, so we had to go and meet Megan Foster on a boat with a candlestick at night. No, wait. That's, um, what's that murder game with, you know, Colonel Mustard? Oh, man, I don't want to go in the water. It looks like, well, frankly, it looks like Victorian England water. And no one wants to be drinking Victorian England water. I'm pretty sure that the constitution of Victorian England water was, you know, 20% water, 25% coal, 30% feces, 5% bird feces, and 8% human body parts. Does that add up to 100? Mmm, no. You've got to stick another 2% or 12% or something with a 2 in it in there. Oh well, I'm an empress, damn it. Where's my red carpet? Where's my red carpet? Is there any way to get onto that boat without getting wet? I don't think so. I don't think so. Alrighty. Let's go up these stairs. It doesn't seem to be like an exhaustion meter. The reason I'm curious is I'm curious about that pipe there. This is why I'm coming back this way. So, was it worth coming back? Oh, yeah, it was. There's coins. All right, up the stairs. Anything up here? Okay, up there. Oh, hang on. That's worth exploring. Can I open that door? No, that's not looking like a very openable door. Is openable a word? Oh, might have to duck under that. No, nothing. I'm sorry, everyone. That was a total dead end. A total dead end. As opposed to a living end, or even an unconscious end. That was a dead end. Alrighty, let's go out here. I suppose this was a way, if you were playing stealthy, and I was playing totally stealthy. I actually was. I just failed really badly at it, but I was trying to play stealthy trying to play stealthy. Now, do you want to see me stealthily jump into the water? Backwards dive in pike position with a sword and a pistol. Harder than it looks. Harder than it looks. Alright, now, to the boat. To the boat. Boaty McBoatlingtons, let's get on you. Let's get onto the boat. Come on. Bring me the boatums. Call this a welcoming committee. I'm an empress. I'm an empress. I don't swim in water of that particular shade of crap. Now what? Lady, it's... you want to hear what I've got to say. Okay. I guarantee it. Okay. I'm listening. Lady Emily, you won't get far with that face. Stamped on half the coins <laughs> of the city. You can There's talk. Underway and I'm being blamed for the crown killer murders. I don't care what my face looks like. My name's Megan Foster. I work with an old ally of yours, Anton Sokolov. We learned something scary down in the south, and I came to warn you. I know, Anton, but Corvo's gone. The Duke of Serkonos is here with a woman named Delilah. They massacred everyone in the throne room. Then she did something I can't explain. There was nothing to do but run. Sometimes that's all you can do. This is my ship, the Dreadful Whale. We can head out as soon as you're ready. I need to get to Karnaka where the Crown Killer murders started. Delilah must have been down there for a while, and I've got to figure out what's going on. You're Corvo's daughter. I'll give you that. Should we go? Ooh, should we go? Well, the first thing I'm going to say is someone has severely impacted on your Second Amendment right to bear arms. Wow. I'm going to assume we're going to find out what happened to her because she's obviously blind in one eye and missing an arm. And I'm actually intrigued to find out what happened to her. Actually kind of intrigued. 
soon, but not just yet. We're going to leave very soon, but... But not just yet. All right, so what I need to do is pillage your ship. See if there's anything worth stealing. And there is. You can tell I'm an empress by the way I just steal random useless things off your ship. So a very quick look around. And I've just the motion blur, it isn't doing it for me. It's causing frame rate issues and it's causing like a laggy non-responsive mouse issues. Not sold. Not sold at all. Is there anything on this boat? Wow. All right, well, look, I'm done, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure and a privilege to have you along. Ah, oh, hello, my beautiful castle. I'll be back soon. Megan Foster, it's beautiful to make your acquaintance. You ready yet? Yes, I am well and truly ready. All right, thank you, milady. All right, thank you, beautiful people, for watching. We'll be back very soon. And it's been a privilege and a pleasure to do this playthrough for you. And wishing you a wonderful day. Thanks heaps and bye for now. Okay.